Ah, oh, come in, come in, Humphrey. Mr. Lyman, sir, I want to talk to you about Prime Minister's question. Thank Humphrey. you. I accept your congratulations. Uh, well, I wasn't, wasn't I brilliant? Uh, well, I didn't. Didn't you uh, think so? Well, I wasn't oh, there, but. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> wasn't I brilliant, Bernard? Uh, uh, well, I believe your replies this afternoon will not be quickly forgotten. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you what happened, Humphrey. <laughs> the first question was about that Home Office cock up over the shortage of prison officers. My reply was masterly. I said, I refer the Honourable Member to the speech I made in this House on October the 28th. Did he remember what you'd said? Well, no, of course not. Neither did I come to that. <laughs> Still, shut him up. The next one was about unemployment and whether the Department of Employment fiddled the figures. You mean periodically restructure the base from which the statistics have been derived without drawing public attention to the fact? Exactly, fiddle the figures. <laughs> well, of course they do. I know they do. But I said, I'd found no significant evidence of it. That's because you haven't been looking. And because we haven't shown you. I know. Well done, Humphrey. Then we went straight on to a googly about the Department of Energy's plans for disposing of nuclear waste. The question was trying to get me to admit that the Cabinet was divided. Well, it is. Well, I know that. So I said, my Cabinet took a unanimous decision. That's only because you threatened to dismiss anyone who wouldn't agree. <laughs> you certainly made them agree unanimously. <laughs> By this time, my backbenchers were cheering my every word. Oh, yeah. then we had a question about why, since we'd spent so much money on it, our new anti-missile missile was scrapped as obsolete the day before the first one came off the production line. <laughs> and how did you wriggle out of that one? Wriggled out? That was my masterstroke. My reply, Humphrey, was sheer genius. I simply said our policy had not been as effective as we hoped. Clearly, we had got it wrong. <laughs> you admitted that? Yeah, brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> Took the wind right out of his sails. <laughs> Honesty always gives you the advantage of surprise in the House of Commons. <laughs> there was actually a supplementary. The Prime Minister was asked when he would request the resignation from the responsible minister. Too easy. I said I'll ask for his resignation when he makes a mistake that could have been seen at the time and not with the benefit of hindsight. <laughs> they were on their feet, cheering, stamping, waving their order papers. I gather that there was a question about the bugging of an MP's telephone. Oh, yes, I got a terrific laugh with that. I said... I know Bernard told me. <laughs> no, I said, much as I respect... Yes, the I know, Bernard told me. Oh. oh, well, anyway, that was just stupid. I mean, why should we bug Hugh Halifax's telephone? I mean, one of my own administration. I don't know where they got such a daft idea. Sheer paranoia. Yes, the only thing is... I mean, why should we be listening to MPs? Boring, stupid, ignorant windbags? <laughs> I do my best not to listen to them. But he's only a PPS. I have enough trouble finding out what's going on at the Ministry of Defence. What could he know? So, I gather you denied that Mr Halifax's phone had been bugged. Well, obviously. It was the one question today to which I could give a clear, simple, straightforward, honest answer. Yes. Unfortunately, although the answer was indeed clear, simple and straightforward, there is some difficulty in justifiably assigning to it the fourth of the epithets you applied to the statement. <laughs> Inasmuch as the precise correlation between the information you communicated and the facts insofar as they can be determined and demonstrated is such as to cause epistemological problems <laughs> of sufficient magnitude as to lay upon the logical and semantic resources of the English language a heavier burden than they can reasonably be expected to bear. <laughs> Epistemological? What are you talking about? You told a lie. A lie? A lie. What do you mean, a lie? I mean, you... <sighs> lied. <laughs> uh, yes, I know this is a difficult concept to get across to a politician. Um, <laughs> you, uh, um, ah, yes, you did not tell the truth. You mean, we are bugging you, Halifax's telephone? We were. We were? When did we stop? Um, 17 minutes ago. <laughs>